And these bottles look exactly the same as the one with the point. This should be good enough to make a decent copy. I'd like to know a bit more about your professors. What do you want to know? I'll see you later.
something you like. Cheaper than the best. This Cavendish guy did an impressive investigation, and the EOD is in the center of all of it. Judging by the layer of dust on it, this ring hasn't been worn in a long time. So why keep it around? <laughs> the door won't budge. I loved you. I always loved you. This Cavendish guy did an impressive investigation, and the EOD is in the center of all of it.
George, I can't live like this anymore. There's something I have to tell you. I don't care what your damn EOD cult demands, Anna! I thought the child was mine. <laughs> mine! <laughs> You will never understand our cause! My child is blessed by the sea! I'm leaving you, George! Okay, let's see what we have here. George? I don't care what your damn- You will never understand our cause! My child is blessed by the sea! I'm leaving you, George! George Cavendish. He had a wife named Anna. She had a baby that was not his, but blessed by the sea and claimed by the EOD. This caused their split. Are you? Well, what are you doing here? Calm down. My name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator. Right now, you look like someone who's breaking into my house. A, a, a burglar. I explain yourself. Easy there. Anna from the fish market asked me to find you. You know her, right? I should have guessed. I know her much better than you think. What does she want from me now? She already took everything I have. It's not about what she wants. It's about what you did. Poisoning the fish. Sound familiar? Yeah, I can prove you did it. Hold on. Before you jump to conclusions, I want you to know that I had a good reason to do what I did. It all comes back to Anna. Oh, this should be fun. What's your good reason for poisoning innocent people? You know the EOD are feeding the hungry, don't you? No. Oh, that's exactly the problem. They're not doing it out of charity. They do it to spread their influence and recruit new members. Some of those initiates, as they call them, vanish without a trace. And not just them. They kidnap ordinary folks, too. And poisoning the fish would prevent this how? Oh, you see, not everyone in this city believes in the EOD yet. They have opposition among the citizens, both rich and poor. A rumor of the EOD's fish being poisonous and several incidents would be enough to undermine the EOD by sparking fear and mistrust. What's Anna got to do with all this? As you might have already gleaned, she is... was... my wife. Uh-huh. Yeah, it all starts to come together now. The EOD robbed me of her. It all started with the free fish. We were all short on food at the time, and then they hooked her with their nonsense about the benevolent sea and greater good. I looked past it for some time, but then... She became pregnant. Yes. At first, I was over the moon. But then one day she came to me, that snake, and told me that the child was not mine. She said it was blessed by the sea. That it was demanded by the EOD. Doomed take them! I couldn't stand it. I just couldn't. 
there must be another way to deal with the EOD. Like, if their crimes are that obvious, why don't you just go to the police? <sighs> They're resourceful, those sons of hagfish. They maintain a squeaky clean image and Kay, they're good at it. I tried going to the police. They were no help at all. And I'm not suicidal enough to make it public and take them to court. What did she mean, blessed by the sea? What do you think is the cause of Innsmouth Syndrome in people? Uh, living in Innsmouth? That K-forsaken place has nothing to do with it. It comes from breeding with monsters. These sea creatures they call Deep Ones. They take our women and they spoil them with their seed. Then they give birth to degenerate fish-faced offspring. Where did you learn all this? This information about the EOD? After Anna left, I had nothing. But I did have a lot of time to research Innsmouthers, the EOD, and the story behind them. It is an old and powerful organization. They appeared back in the mid-19th century in Innsmouth, and the first people with the Innsmouth Syndrome started showing up around that same time. Ah. Uh. Perhaps not coincidentally. No, ah, of course not. And the EOD is immensely rich. The sudden rise to power of the Blackwood family happened right after they joined them. So what's your next move? I was interrupted and couldn't finish my task. The EOD received a fresh haul of fish, but now they're on alert and raised their guard. I understand I'm in no position to ask. But after reviewing all the facts I've presented to you, Mr. Reed, would you agree to help me? Keep talking. Now what is it you want from me? Poison the rest of the fish. It's spreading, but it's not enough. The EOD trusts you enough to deal with me, so it should be simple for you. My agent inside the EOD reports that they've just received a fresh haul. That's your target. Your agent inside the EOD... Is he fairly high up the ranks? Ah... I see where this is going. You need something from the EOD too. Yeah. I'm trying to find a certain person who may be held by them. My, my agent can arrange that. If someone is being held by the EOD, he'll know it. It's a win-win situation. All right, look, I'm gonna need to think about this. Uh, of course, but don't be too long. I'm going to need an answer before I let you go. I hope you can understand why. So, have you made up your mind? Your methods stink, and your plan stinks. Still, the EOD is a threat, and I'm not gonna help them anymore. I'm in. Oh, you're doing a great favor for this city, Mr. Reed. Never doubt that. Yeah, I'm trying not to. Remind me what it is I have to do. You need to poison the fresh haul of fish at the EOD storage. It's heavily guarded, but you'll figure out something, I've no doubt. I'll be back later. I need to see my agent. Find me after you're done. Here's the address and some ricin. Be very careful with it. Yeah, will do. I'm not quite ready to die yet.
door won't budge. Hello again, Daryl. I serve the sea. Sea be praised, Mr. Reed. Good to see you again. Uh, mind if I go inside? Sure. No problem with that. Stay as long as you want. Daryl, listen to me carefully. If you want to keep breathing, you gotta skip town. Now. You're taking a lot of heat on account of that fish poisoning. The EOD is on it like a dog on a bone, and they will find out the truth eventually. Bah. I don't believe it. Daryl, I'm saying this only because you're a real stand-up guy and I respect you. Leave this place. Forget about the EOD, or it will kill you. Fine, fine. You've always been on the level with me. I'll leave. Don't be a stranger, Daryl. May the sea protect you, Mr. Reed. It's done. The fish have been poisoned. <sighs> Perfect. This will make a decisive blow to the EOD in Elkmont. You've done a great thing, Mr. Reed. So, what's next on your to-do list? Hangings? Drowning kittens? What we've already accomplished should be more than enough. After I see the EOD in ruin, I'll turn myself in to the police. I'm aware of being guilty of several crimes. The least being theft and the most severe being mass murder. I won't hide from my fate. Well, that's something at least. I don't want anyone else to suffer my fate. And I certainly don't want anyone else blamed for my crimes. Your contact better be worth the trouble, George. He's already waiting for you in the basement of the fish market. His name's Fred. You'll need to tell him a password. Oh, you're kidding me. Passwords? Again? <laughs> oh, yes. We decided to use this EOD feature against them. Ironic, don't you think? Funny, even. <laughs> right, funny. Yeah. Yeah, I think I just split my sides laughing. <sighs> anyway, the password is... The sea is a cruel mistress. Good luck. You know anything about Harriet Doe, a professor from the university? Harriet, a uh, Harriet. Ah, yes, I remember her. Brilliant anthropologist. It was always a pleasure to read her articles. Is it her you're looking for? Yeah. She participated in Throgmorton's little, uh, expedition to the depths. That's where the EOD captured her. Ugh. <sighs> Kidnapping promising female scientists from the university must have become a hobby for them. Freaks. Bye. Choice. 
Hello? Your name Fred? Might be. What do you want? It's funny, you know. The water's choppy, the weather bad, and I miss sailing more than ever. It's like they say, the sea is a cruel mistress. I know what you mean, but listen, I've got a story you might enjoy. You're looking for a Professor Lowe, ain't that right? The scientist the order kidnapped. I think we can help each other. How do you mean? You know where she is? Slow down, buddy. Helping each other is not the same as let me just tell you everything. <sighs> Nothing's for free in this city, is it? Figures. All right. Shoot. You won't regret it. You've seen some of this city now, am I right? You've an inkling what's coming? I want out of the Order and the city before it hits. Trouble is, it's much easier to get into the Order than to leave. Give the slightest hint of it. You've signed your death warrant. I need somebody to get me out of the city on the quiet. And that's not an easy thing these days, my friend. <sighs> I've no idea how to help you with that. Ain't you a detective? There are people in the city, smugglers, who know what to do. Find them. That's how you can help. See, I've heard whispers about ads in the newspaper. A new ad every week talking about Salvation Harbor. Maybe start there. All right, fine. I'll look into it. But your lead on the professor had better be worth it. I know where they've got her. I can get you there. You just find me a way out fast, or I might be too dead to be any use to you. I know who is behind Professor Doe's kidnapping. It's an organization called the Esoteric Order of Dagon. Most of them stick to the fish market, but they seem to have agents everywhere. Even the university. I knew there was something fishy about the EOD. The den of those filthy innsmouthers. I'll tear it to the ground. Actually, most of the EOD members I met were locals. And for what it's worth, the only Innsmouther I spoke to was a nice guy. You ought to examine your prejudices. Are you calling me a bigot, Reed? Robert, listen. Something needs to change. You holding a grudge against Innsmouthers ain't making anything better for anyone. Those who fan the flames of hatred always end up burnt in the end. They killed my son, for Kay's sake! I know. 
but what did you do to prevent it? You made yourself their enemy instead of helping them. What did you expect would happen? You chose to brand them newcomers and leave them to suffer just like you did with me. The only difference is that I'm useful to you. No wonder desperate Innsmouthers would seek refuge from a radical organization like the EOD. They had nowhere else to turn. I shall think about what you've said. Ah, back to business. I'll continue my search for Professor Doe. I have a promising lead. You have anything else to tell me? Your task remains the same. Find Harriet and bring her back. You say we are dealing with an entire organization? Well, I have something for you that might help our cause should things take a turn. Now leave. I've heard enough from you.